Alright, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and to all students. Okay. Today we are going to learn about linear equations. Okay, so I am Teacher Hidayah will teach you about linear equations, chapter six, mathematics form one. Right. So table of contents there are actually three subtopics that we can learn from this whole topic. For the first one, we're going to learn about 6.1.1, linear equation in one variable. Alright. So, um, okay, let's see the definition of linear equation. So, if you have a linear equation, so do you understand what does it mean by equation? Equation when you have a symbol, okay, equals to, okay, that means equation. So how about linear in this case? So in linear in this case, uh, it has the highest power of one, right? So let's say if we have uh three x, three x or two x, okay, this one has the highest power of one, the variable. So this one, eh? So if I say three x, that means you have three x to the power of one same as 3x so x is the variable right so how about 2x power 1 2x power 1 also equals to 2x yeah okay but if you have uh, like x square okay this one what is the problem here you have square square that means the highest power is 2 hence it is not li linear linear must have the power 1 right so after we understand about linear equation, so what do we understand about linear equation in one variable here? So that means they have two things that we need to note. So the first one, uh, the linear equation in one variable has the highest power of one, definitely. And the second one, it has one variable only, right? So in this case, uh, it only has one variable like, cap uh, like letters, whether it is x or y or etc., right? Alright, so we move on. We see some of the examples. Okay, state whether each of the following is a linear equation in one variable and explain your answer. Right, so we look at the first one. So here we have 5x plus 2 equals to 8. So this is of course a, a equation. Okay. So this one is an equation because you have uh, the symbol equals to here, yeah. So when we have five x plus two equals to eight, here, what do you think? It is linear equation in one variable or not? Of course, because here you have only one variable which is x, and x is actually is has the power of one, yeah. In this case, so yes. Because it has the highest power of 1 and has only one variable which is x itself. Okay. Alright. So how about a second one? So second one, we have an equation. 5x squared plus 1 equals to 2. Alright. So it do have uh, one variable which is x squared here. Okay. But what is the problem of this equation? Because it has the highest power of 2. Hence, it is not a linear equation in one variable because it has the highest power of two, right? Okay, so the third one, we have 5x plus y equals to three. All right, so noted here that the highest power of variable x and variable y is actually one, okay? But what is the problem here? It is a linear equation. But the problem is, it is not in one variable, okay? So, in this case, no. It has two variables which are x and y, right? So, the last one, we have 3xy plus 2 equals to 5. So, in this case, uh, we do have two x and y here. It's got a problem. And then, uh, when you have this kind of type xy, it is not linear, okay? So, no, it has two variables which are x and y, right? Okay, so... Uh, for part 2, write the linear equation in one variable. Okay, so here I give you the situation. 
and you must write in in the form of linear equation right so we look at the first example so first we have a number is added with 5 the total is 10 so in this case we have a number okay when we say a number when we can name it as any letters or variable so here I like to take a number to become x yeah? so x so a number is added that means we need to add so the linear equation will be like x plus 5 added with 5 so we have 5 the total is 10 right so this is the first answer all right so the second one we have a length of the book a book is equals to 2 times its width so here we have a length second one we have the width so we have two things here so first we have length Okay, length we already know is equals to 2 times width yeah? right so uh, okay we take length uh, in variable x we take width in variable y okay because it has two different things here okay so that one is for the first statement all right we look at the second statement the total length of the total of length and width of the book is 25 here so that means you need to total up the length and the width all right so you have length you have length here and then plus the width you already know the total is 20 25 yeah all right so a uh, length uh, we take as x plus okay we have width so here width i note as y okay so we take y as our subject yeah so you can do like this 2y equals to x because we want the width which is y only okay we're trying to eliminate 2 by divided equally both sides yeah we can cancel of the 2 so we have x equals to x over 2 y equals to x over 2 here and then you replace this y equals to x over 2 into width okay because width is y yeah, in this case so you replace so you will get x over 2 here so equals to 20 25 right okay so this is uh, the linear equation right you also can um, stabilize the equation okay here you have 2 by multiplying on both sides by 2 here right so you do substitution here sorry you need to expand the bracket right so I expand the bracket first so x times 2 what you get you should get 2 to x plus x over 2 times 2 you will get x equals 2 25 times 2, what you get here? 50. And then the final answer should be 2x plus x equals to 3x equals to 50. Okay, so that we want for the linear equation. Okay, so for B is quite uh, hard compared to the first one. Yeah? Alright, so we move on. Alright, uh, so part 3. Alright, here we need to represent this equation based on the given linear equation. So the first one we have x plus 3 equals to 0. We can take any situation as long as as long as long um, uh, it is suitable for the linear equation stated in the question. Yeah? So, okay, I take a number is added with 3. The total is 10. So, it is... Um, acceptable as stated in the linear equation okay all right for the second one okay we have 2y equals to 8 so we can take any situation good situation okay all right so the total price of the same book is rm 8 ringgit 
Alright, so okay, lastly we have here uh okay, it's not uh, p minus five. Okay, so I change the equation to become two p minus five is equals to ten. Eh? Okay, so look at my explanation. Ahmad H is p, whereas his sister is five year old. Then less than Ahmad. The total age is ten years old. Why I doing like this? Okay, let's say we have Ahmad first. So Ahmad age is P. We already know. Okay, so Ahmad. And then his uh, sister is five year old. So sister five year old less than Ahmad. So that means if Ahmad P, sister is younger. So five minus P. P minus five. Sorry, the total age is ten years old. So we need to add on both, um, both ages. Uh, so here we have Ahmad plus sister. So that means total age. Okay, we do have P plus P minus five, which is equals to ten. So the final answer will be P plus P. We will get two P minus five equals to 10 right so this is for part 3 okay all right okay we look at part 4 okay here we are going to solve linear equation in one variables okay there are three methods that we can use the first one is by triad and improvement method cuba dan jaya second one we have equality Kesamaan. And the third one, we have backtracking method which is pematah balikan. So here, I will do two examples by using these three methods. Okay, so that you will see uh, what what are the differences from each method. But it will give you the same answer. Right? So we shall look at the first one. Uh, Kaedah Cuba Jaya or Trial and Improvement Method. Alright? So the first example, we have X plus 3 equals to 10. Okay. Trial and improvement. That means uh, we need to try any value of x, okay, that suitable um, to the linear equation here. Okay, let's say if I take x, yeah, okay, x, uh, I take any number such as zero. So here x plus three, so I will get zero plus three. So do I get um? Do I get uh, 10? No, I didn't get 10. So, it is not equal to 10. So, that means um, x not equals to 0. So, we need to try other numbers. Okay, let's say we take 1. When x equals to 1. So, we have 1 plus 3. So, here we get 4. 4 definitely is not equals to 10. Yeah, in this case. Okay. But, I know pretty well if you're trying to look at uh, the very easy uh, linear equation, you will definitely know that x is equal to 7 because 7 plus 3, you get 10, right? So, we try to uh, uh, show in the uh, in the solution here. So, when x equals to 7, so that means you have 7 plus 3, so you have 10 here, okay? So, acceptable, the answer will be x equals to 7, Okay, by using trial and improvement method. Right? Okay, how about the second example? Okay, we're trying to do the same approach. We take any value of x and then we're trying to uh, insert the value of x whether it satisfies the linear equation. Right? So, first we take x as 0 or any number. So, 3 times 0 minus 5. What you get here? 3 times 0, you get 0 minus 5. So, actually, you get minus 5 or negative 5, which is not equals to 0. Eh, sorry, not equals to 7 in this case. Alright, so we are trying to figure out, okay, which number is suitable. So, I take 4 in this case. So, I try. So, 3 bracket 4 minus 5. So, 3 min uh, times uh, 4, you get 12. 12 minus 5, you get 7. So, definitely, uh, you get the answer. So, we come to a conclusion that x is equals to 4 in this case. Right? So, I've done two examples by using trial and improvement method. Okay? 
Alright, so we look at the second method, equality method, kaedah kesamaan. Alright, so name is equals. So every action, um, every operation that you take, you must equalize on both sides, on the uh, left hand side or the right hand side part. Okay, so I'll show you how. So we look at the first example. So here we have x plus 3, which is equals to 10 in this case. Alright, so here we have x plus 3 equals to 10. So we want the x. We don't want the 3, yeah? In this case. So we don't want the 3. 3 is uh, addition 3 plus 3. So we don't want 3. What we, we, we need to do, we need to kick out by subtract it with 3 lah. So it means minus 3. Okay, but for the, this one for the left hand side, you should also do the same thing for the right hand side so that's how equality method apply yeah? both equation need to stable alright so you have here um, x plus 3 minus 3 equals to 10 minus 3 ok plus 3 minus 3 you get 0 here so automatically you get x so 10 minus 3 we get 7 okay or straight away okay uh, if if you already understand x plus 3 equals to 10 okay somehow we want we don't want the 3 so we move it to the other side then it will become minus 3 okay this one is uh, simpler can okay, than the first one because you are actually um do the same thing okay but in simpler way so this one we have 10 minus 3 so also you get the same answer 7 okay so we move to the second example by using equality method all right so the first one we have uh, 3x minus 5 Oops, sorry okay so here we have 3x minus 5 Okay, which is equal to 7. Okay, in this case, we do want x. Then, we need to eliminate negative 5. So, how to make negative 5 eliminate or be cancelled? We need to add on plus 5. So, that the left hand side will be become 0. When we add plus 5 on the left hand side, we also need to add plus 5 on the right hand side. Right? So, our equation will be like this. So, here we have 3x minus 5 plus 5 equals to 7 plus 5. Alright. So, minus 5 plus 5 is already become 0. So, we have 3x here. Equals to 7 plus 5. We have 12. Alright. So, in this case, we do want x. We don't want the 3. What should we do? According to equality, we need to divide both sides, the left hand side and the right hand side by 3. Because we only want the x. Eh? So after that, you need to cancel the 3. So now, you get the answer. x equals to 12 divided by 3, you get 4. Okay, as simple as that. Okay, or somehow, I usually note these things okay, to be like this 3x equals to 12 we do want the x we don't want the 3 what will happen if we transfer to the other side to the right hand side of 3 we just need to d divide because this one we have 3 times x so if we want the x sorry here I'm sorry So here we want the x, so x straight away. Okay, 12, we don't want the 3, 3 times. So move to the other side, you need to divide. Okay, by the same approach. So both will get the same answer. Okay, don't worry. Okay, so that one is for the second method, equality method. Alright, so the third one. 
back tracking method kaedah pematah balikan this one very easy okay the name is back tracking when the name is back tracking you need to move uh, you need to do your first move by using the uh, very back tracking here so here we have x plus t equals to 10 so we need to move from 10 first okay and then move to the other side 3 and then move to the other side to get the x okay so what will happen of the operation so here when you have plus when you move backward it will become minus all right the operation will become minus so here we get the first step we need to get is 10 minus 3 right so because we move from the backward all right so here 10 minus 3 and then um Okay, equals to x that what is that is what we want so 10 minus 3 equals to 7 equals to x so you need to make, make sure that your x is the subject so it should move on the um, left hand side so x equals to 7 in this case yeah? the same thing All right so we move on the second example okay here we have 3x so what does it mean by 3x 3x that means 3 times with x yeah so the first one we have 3 times x minus 5 equals to 7 okay so here we do back tracking method we start from the very back here which is 7 okay after that the operation here minus 5 it now will become plus plus 5 okay and then after that we do want x we don't want the 3 it will jump here and then times will become divide division eh? okay so how we solve it so first we have 7 we move from the backward 7 plus 5 so here we have 12 Okay, after that, we have 12 divided by 3 by using backtracking. So, what we get, we get x here. So, 12 divided by 3, we get 4. So, take x as your subject. So, you have x equals to 4. Okay. Alright. So, I hope you are very clear with these three methods. Okay. So, the end. If you have uh, any question, you then you may ask me. Okay. So, thank you.